Hello there, and welcome to Virgo Pegasus Doll Resort. I'm Virgo, and today we have a small AliExpress Choice Day haul and a couple of packages I got on Mercari. So I already did open the Mercari packages. Let's just start with this one. Um, I offered this guy has like two for ten dollars. I think it is on these items. I offered twenty four with free shipping, and he took it. She took it. They took it. And I just think they're great items for monkeys and babies. I've been making a lot of my magnet pacifiers lately. It says, thanks so much for your order. I hope these pacifiers and teethers make the babies in your life happy and bring many smiles. Enjoy Fancy. And these came from Fancy Schmancy. I'll put their info on here. Um, on Mercari. There are two banana brushes. They don't have these at Walmart or anywhere I've seen. But I've seen them online before. Um, but they do have them, this person had them, and they're toothbrushes instead of being like the full teether thing. Pretty cool. And then I got two cowboys. So they had them in lots of $10 for two. So I offered $24 on six, and she took it. That was very nice of them. So um, that would make them, what, four bucks each? One, two, three, four. Yeah, like four bucks each. So there are two cowboys, and these are by the original Mustache Pacifier people. Yeah. Very cute. I <laughs> love that. And then we got the two gentleman ones. I've gotten one of these, I think, before. Mustache. The original gentleman Mustache Pacifier. So I'll make these into magnets. With these, I have to add two magnets into them. Uh, the Neo Neodian magnets or whatever. I add two because they're heavy. And then these will be great for monkeys or any of my babies that want to brush your teeth with your banana. With your banana. In your white baby. If you haven't seen, I did the Celeste unboxing before this video. And she's here with us. Look at the face. You can get your face. Meow. So, um, have you guys hugged a baby today? Oh, you're just precious babies. <laughs> oh, I love my babies. Gotta hug your babies, guys. Hug your babies today. I'll make sure we get that in there, because you know, you know, we gotta do it. We gotta hug our babies and love our babies and check in on our friends and make sure they're hugging their babies. So, <laughs> anyways, baby bananas. So, I got all six items for $24. I think that was a pretty, um, pretty good deal for $4 a piece. And they are super cute. I just think they're so cute, you know? Great little items and accessories for the babies. I should, I should have done it like this. Yeah. And so check out Fancy Schmancy. Fancy Schmancy. Schmancy. Yeah. Check them out on uh, Mercari. They have more. I noticed that when she sold these, she put up more. And I was like, I wish I had gotten four of the bananas. Ha. Huh? No, I need to behave. So that came from her. And, um, I like those a lot. I do. Then I got this other package here, and it is also pacifiers. I was doing the pacifier thing again. You know, periodically I look for mams. I love mam pacifiers. I just love them. On, pa on Reborns, they're like the perfect pacifiers. So this had a bunch of mams, but it also had an itsy ritzy. And this came from Sam. S-A-M. Yeah, I'll put their info here, too. On Mercari. And I paid, I think it was 20 plus... Uh, tax for all of these. It was $4.99 shipping, and I think I got them for $15. So it's like $19.99. And there are two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So they were like a dollar a pacifier, basically, guys, is what I paid for these pacifiers here. And I was really stoked about this particular one in here that says superhero for Joker Baby because it's got like the Batman. <laughs> I thought that would be so cute for Joker Baby. But there's also mana rays on this one with little hearts. Aren't those cute? And I'm not sure. They're not all mams. Some are different brands, but they're mostly mams. This one has a car and a acorn. Isn't that cute? And then these... Or just this teal, this like bluish color, like a sage, or a sage green and a blue, sorry. It's like a cornflower blue. Really pretty, you know? And then this one's got 
a cloud and a hedgehog. That's what you get there. So cute. And then this one has just a plain blue, one of those open ones. That'll go for a silicone most likely. I keep these in for silicones. And then it's also got the moon. That looks like a Tommy Tippy, if I'm not mistaken. And then I got... Oh, you coming back, Dewey? Come on. This one has a moon and... Two moons is the same. I love that for, like, twins. So I will definitely be making these into magnetic passivars for the most part. This one has a well and a dinosaur. I love this one. I have this one in like two others of this one. I love it. Here, Dewey, let me move this. Let me move antelope. 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 Yes, I know it's an armadillo. It's another, another story. This one is the ones you get with like the free Target packages, I think. And it has a bear with little honey and little baby. Bear. Um, and this one says, I love mommy. And this one's got well on it. Another one of those with the heart. And this one's got a fox. I know they were used by a baby, but they were in heavy, heavy rotation, so they weren't used a whole lot each. Um, and that's okay by me because I'm going to cut off the pacifier part anyways, you know. On all of them, except for these, I'll leave for silicones or for pictures. So I won't take the pacifier off this part, but that's not a big deal. This one's got an arrow, and it is... An itsy ritzy, thank you. Cute. This one's also an itsy ritzy, and it's like a teal color, like a light green. This one is a gray, and it's got like this braiding, and it is also an itsy ritzy. And this one's an itsy ritzy in like a beige, tannish color. And this is like a bluish cornflower blue or something. So that is what I got from that seller, and I think that's a good deal. You know, when you see things that cheap with itsy ritzies and stuff too, you got to get it because. They will sell so fast, pacifier lots like this. And I've been lucky enough to get a couple now, but I love that when I get these lots, I just can't see spending 7 or $8 for a couple pacifiers unless they're amazing. You know, it just doesn't make any sense to do that um, for me anyways. That's a lot of money for two pacifiers, which is what they sell for at most stores. Even Walmart's somewhat expensive on theirs. It just depends. But I love the Mams. I love the Itsy Ritzies. I think this was a great deal. Let me know what you do. Do you do that too? Do you buy like lots or do you um, buy individual pacifiers? How does that work for you? And do you modify them yourself? Anyway. So that's what I got from Akari from Sam. And fancy, fancy schmancy, something like that. All right. And then this was the last choice day item I had bought that had not arrived yet. It should be a blanket. And I believe I paid a little more for this one than the others. I think it was almost five dollars. It was under five dollars, okay? And so I decided I would try this. It's supposed to be like a layered muslin, I think, and it is perfect for our farm week. Yes, it is. So this is a avocado blanket here. Oh my god, it's got bananas too. I love this. I wanted to see it and then I might order more if they have some for my monkey babies because I've been looking for banana stuff for them. See how big it is. I hear some people say it's big, some say it's not. Oh, it's a decent size. I think that's perfect. Look at that, guys. Isn't that cute? Perfect for the farm day. Tell me if you guest. Let me put you here for a second and get a picture of you on this guy right here. Because why not? Because why not? Sleepy girl. Just my sleepy. I love the sleepers, guys. I love sleeping. I love all babies. Okay. We have all babies here. That is so cute, right? I'm gonna leave that out. So that was under five dollars, and I'll put the info of who sold that down below in the information area. You know, I always do that, but I can't remember right now. But it was under five dollars, I believe. I'll put the info there. And then I got a kit, guys. I did. I got a kit. Uh, this is the last kit. I, it was around $20 to $24. I'll put that info here, too. I cannot remember who I got it from, but I'll put it down below. You know how we do it. This is the Lanny kit. Oh, my goodness. I didn't look up ahead of time who makes the Lanny kit. Jeez. But it is a copy doll. Beware, guys. Copy doll. So, I started rooting my... See, I still got some pajama pants on. I just started reading my Elijah. I was going to root my Zoe, but I'm just, I'm contemplating. 
Uh, I'm contemplating what to do. I don't know what to do. She's a big girl, though. All right, that's what we get. We get the body and a pacifier and zip ties. So we'll just show you what we get. So, but yeah, this was a cheap kit. This was under 25 bucks, I think. So again, if you don't have hundreds to spend, it's a good alternative. If you are researching um, a doll that you may want to spend money on that, you know, an artist or have a custom done, it's a good way to look at the, the mold beforehand, you know, before you would want to like go have like buy the kit of the of authentic kit and have someone art. It's a good way to do that for like $25 so you can make sure that you're going to bond with the baby possibly or that you like the look of the baby. And you know, if you can't afford hundreds of dollars on a baby, it's another option for you. So there are reasons that people get cubby doll kits. And unfortunately, a lot of artists don't make sure their sculpts are safe. And so the copy doll kits, and some artists actually approve so many copies. Is that not crazy? Um, some people actually approve it. Let me get this over to Oxy Dewey, because, you know, he likes to be in the videos. He's, he's a camera hound. Aren't you, Bobbies? Aren't you? You are my little camera boy. So, anyways, this is the Lanny. This is the Lanny kit, guys. And I've seen a, a few people with this one before on different channels. I'm sure you have too. But we'll just check out this one. This is a 3D skin on this one. I believe it's an 18-inch kit. But the limbs seem pretty good size. That's nice, right? Wow. Sometimes I like the way the 3D skin is done on the le legs from AliExpress rather than the... They have a little more detail than the artist painted ones, the G Genesis heat set. So here's the right leg. He's a little chunky thing. I didn't realize he was so chunky. There's his right leg. He does have beautiful modeling. Yeah, he does. He's got veining, you see, right there. So pretty. And the capillaries, too. Really pretty, guys. See that vein? Really pretty. The toes are crinkled under and they are tipped. And this is the underside of the foot. So pretty nice little foot there and leg. Here's another look at Dewey. You get Dewey. Here's the other leg. Okay, so it's got veining and see there's veining right there. Can you all see that? He's got capillaries, too. He's got the vein, capillaries. And then the modeling, of course. Oh, he's pretty well done, guys. He's got vein right here on the side of his leg going up. I'm impressed. I'm always impressed with some of them. Some of them I'm like, eh, eh, but this guy's really done well. Not bad at all. <laughs> you want a pet? Because he was a puppy kitty. Hold on, guys, of course. He wants some love. He's a white spot. You gotta get his white spot is on his tummy. And you get his white spot. Like he does not like most people to touch it. Don't touch my white spot. Hey now, behave. Be a good boy. Be a good puppy kitty. Okay, sorry guys. <laughs> and he's got a capillary right there, you can see. His toes are kinda like this one sticking out above the rest. He's got this one this foot's painted really nice on the Actually, they're not bad, huh? The toenails. Not bad at all. So, uh, this was one of those kits again, like the, um, the, which one am I doing right now? The, um, Elijah. I wasn't sure if I liked it or not. I've seen it a lot around the community, and I just wasn't positive if I liked the Elijah. That's his left leg, so, again, you can see veining there. But you know what? Now that I have him, I think he's so cute. I want to get him done. I'm rooting him, but now I want to root everybody. <laughs> I'm going to have to finish him. All right, so this is the left arm. The fingers are like so. He is tipped and glazed. You can see the blushing and modeling. You can also see some a vein running right up. Sorry, right up here. Yeah. So there is veining right here too and then the capillary right here above my thumb yeah and there's the inside of the hand 
there's a little bit of veining slash capillaries right in there yeah he's painted really good that 3d skin or whatever you guys impressive there's the capillaries there's the veining so it's been one of those i've seen this baby for sale but i haven't like decided whether or not to buy the authentic because i would just wasn't sure if i really liked the kit but i do think i want to put super curly hair on him yes curly hair <laughs> and here you can see there's also little capillaries up here and the modeling and the veining you see that really well done yeah so i'm impressed with the limbs and then let's look at the head guys let's look at the head he does seem bigger than i was thinking i've got to say Ooh, his head's all smooshed in no, I have to heat that up, see if I can't stuff it out of him. Stick a bunch of stuffing in his head, see if I can't get that out. Because, good lord, that's crazy. His head's smushed in, guys. His head is smushed in. Yeah, we'll definitely have to, like, heat him up with the hairdryer and put a bunch of stuffing in him and see what happens. But he was under $25. So, but that is not good. The head is squished. Look at that. Yes, see? And that is another problem with inauthentic kits. But you can get an authentic kit that's smushed too. I've had that happen. Okay, so over here you can see the veining. Yeah, I think I can get it out pretty easily, actually. So... We can get it out. Maybe. We shall see. And he's got veining here. He's got the drawn hair. But that is going to be changed. I want him to have super curly hair. And I think I can get that out. He's got blue eyes. He does not have eyelashes. He's so cute, though. Yeah, what I'll probably do is heat up a rice sock and stick it in there and see if that'll help shape him. So I'm doing the other. See, I've already gotten it out some. It'll come. I think it'll come out. But I hate that when you get a doll that's kind of warped. Yeah, that always frustrates me. But he is cute. Cuter than I was thinking. He might be just like that guy right there who has lost his mind now. Look at him. Dewey. Have you lost your mind, Dewey? All right. So let's see. Take him and put him all together. Body seems small, but I do have other bodies downstairs too. So, but yeah, the holes seem real small. Well, yeah. the body might be too small for this baby. Well, well, that one goes over easily. I think it'll be fine. It just needs to we'll work it out. There's one arm. There's another arm. Just put the face here like this. But I have got to get that out. That poofiness. And I don't know that it's worth sending it back for $25. If I can't get it out, I will probably do that. But I will make a complaint regardless. So, let's just take this. Hey, no. Be good. Be a good little dog. <laughs> you think you're a puppy, don't you? He thinks he's a puppy kitty. He's a puppy and a kitty. Our Dewey. All right. Let's get your other leg out. And there he is. What are you doing? Why is your arms out like that? Huh? Why are your arms out like that? So that is the Lanny kit, guys. That is what we got from Allie here. This Lanny. He is a cutie doe. I'm really actually a lot more impressed with him now that I see him. He does have beautiful blue eyes. What do you think, Dewey, with your beautiful, beautiful golden and green eyes, how they change? It's beyond me. Um, but this is the Lanny. Let's look at his head one more time, guys. I noticed he does have, so if I squeeze it like that, it's already almost gone, you know, the dent. He does have these natural, but I think that's a natural dent, you know. So I don't think it's going to be a problem to fix it up. But he does have veining and modeling do y'all see that capillaries on this cheek 
staining in the hairline. So he is cute. But I want him to have like almost like an afro. Yeah, I think it would look so cool. Give him some textured hair, some big curls. Yeah, very cute. Very cute. So I am excited about that too. I'm going to heat him up when I heat up my other guy, my Elijah, here in a bit. And I'm working on rooting him. But like, he is so cute. And yeah, he does not have any neck markings or come with a fake COA or anything like that. You can see the modeling on the neck is actually really nice, guys. Really nice. The blushing and the modeling. I'm impressed. Definitely impressed with this kit, too. Other than this smooshed head. But look, it doesn't even look that bad now. See? Yeah. Not so shabby, little dude. You can really see the staining and all. So, that's what we got today, guys. We've got this little boy and a couple Mercari um, pacifiers. And we are just hanging out with the toddler crew behind us. Look at them. Toddler crew. Hey, toddler crew, what's up? We keep doing, Mommy. The show should be about us. Emma, don't start. Dewey's trying to make it all about him. You can no go, Mama. <laughs> and we've got Celeste and Antelope right here. Boop, 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 boop. And then we also have our Lenny. Sweet Lenny. Sweet day. Sweet baby. So I am actually impressed with this guy here. I do think he's very cute. I think he's much larger than I actually thought. I wonder how big he is. I'll crumple it up like that. We shall see. Let's just get an idea. God, oh, like 18 to 20 inches. I'll have to put his kit details up here. You know how we do it. Look at that. Look at Dewey. He's gone mad. Look at him. He's been kind of goofy lately, and I haven't done a video in a week. I'm so sorry, you guys. I had not been feeling good. I had a couple of procedures done on Monday out in Colorado Springs, and um, today is Thursday, and so theme Thursday again, but I'm doing a couple today so that I can have a few up uh, because... Yeah, I've been, I've been just not feeling well. I don't know. So I just decided I, you know, I even set up one day and then I was like, I can't do it. I'm just not feeling good enough. So, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Maybe not 100%, but I'm like 80. So we'll see. And I am going to try to uh, get some of these hauls and stuff done so I can have our house back from the boxes that are around here. So <laughs> anyways, guys, I really appreciate you. If you're new here, please subscribe and uh, like for everyone else and everyone there too. <laughs> but so yeah, um, if you like hauls, unboxings and all things, baby dolls and fashion dolls and all kinds of things. Although I really haven't done much fashion doll stuff yet. We're going to get there too. It's all going to happen this summer. I have a feeling. So, but I really do appreciate you guys for all my faithful watchers and for all the new watchers i appreciate you too and i will be talking to you very soon take care god bless stay safe and bye for now guys bye bye dilly bye babies bye lanny we will work on you and we'll have a video as i go i'm just trying to get what i can done guys so but i will talk to you guys very soon Bye! Dewey. Dewey. Meow.